I have no words for this, okay? If you don't make this, this is on you. Shame on you if you don't make this. I have a not so secret obsession with the Hermit Kingdom. I know you know. But you live there for three years and try not to fall in love with all of its, well, glory. I mean, giant bookstores walking on the sky, art box, whatever this is, and then we've got this. Oh, <laughs> the food. The absolute perfection and flavors that make up the food. Wait, stop, go back to that last picture. What is missing here? Oh, huh, I see it. It's a complete and utter lack of extra chins. That is it. Salads for the next decade. I mean it this time. Speaking of health food, let's start with the marinade. Don't skip the buttermilk, people. It'll transfer magic and moisture into our chicken, and we'll be left with some super tender tenders. Peel and grate your ginger and cut your green onions. Add in the rest of your ingredients. Give that a quick stir before dropping in your chicken. Cover, then it gets to have a buttermilk sleepover in the fridge. Yay. Use a whole chicken and debone it yourself. It's way cheaper that way, and it'll make you feel accomplished. Yes, I'll link that video in the description. One night later. Now it's time to heat some oil and make a dredge. The oil should be high heat, and you should be using so much of it that you'll be like, I don't know, that's a lot of oil. Also, a candy thermometer is a lifesaver. Overheated oil can explode all over your kitchen, and cold oil will ruin everything. Also, also, don't overfill your pan. When you drop the chicken in, it'll turn into a Vesuvius of oily death, and you'll spend the next two hours mopping up coagulated bird oil. You've been warned. While you wait for the oil to reach 350 degrees, you can make your dredge. These simple ingredients may not look it, but they'll be transformed by an oily baptism and be reborn into a shell of crispy perfection. Hashtag crispfection. Say that three times fast, I dare you. When the oil is ready, pull out a piece of chicken, shake off the excess marinade, then dredge through the flour. Don't go too crazy, just cover that bird in some flour mix. Shake off the excess dredge, then gently lay it in the oil. These will cook in about five to eight minutes, so while that gets crispy, let's make the last sauce you'll ever eat on fried chicken, ever. This is a simple matter of combining ingredients, whisking, and setting on low heat to reduce. If you need a bit more fire in your fire chicken, just bump up the amount of cayenne, or do what I do and finish the chicken with a sprinkle of Asian red from the impeccable Flatirons Pepper Company. It's good. Okay, see how the oil is calmed down? That's a good sign. Remove your crispy chicken and set it on a drying rack to cool before you slather it with sauce. A gentle shake will help that sauce get everywhere, and <laughs> let's eat this thing. Oh yeah, ginger really comes through in that. Oh. Oh, I have no words for this, okay? If you don't make this, this is on you. You have the recipe, you can do this. It's your fault if you don't make this. Shame on you if you don't make this. That ginger and the sweetness, mmm, that garlic coming out, mmm. And the chicken is so moist. A little hint to the green onion. Crispy on the outside, sweet hit, spicy finish. Oh my goodness, my mouth is just, okay. I don't care. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat that whole chicken. It's going. There's. There is no chicken left. There's no leftovers. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. Do this at home. It's super easy. Just follow the steps. That it looks like a lot of ingredients. It's really, really not. New video coming out next week. So subscribe for that. Like this video if you got anything out of it. Share this with someone who needs to take their chicken level up another notch. Eat this chicken. Don't eat crappy food. Live intentionally. Eat intentionally. And I'll see you guys next time. Oh my gosh, yes.